Okay, I'm just going to do a quick video on the 304 non-roller cam blocks. Um, so I'm getting quite a few emails and requests for quotes on roller cam conversions on the non-roller blocks. The VT Series 2 late VT 304s were a roller block. Um, and the main difference with the roller block, if you come in here, is that the lifter boss area, or the casting of the lifter boss, here on the roller, genuine roller blocks sits another uh, around about half an inch taller in the casting. The problem we have, so with the problem we have with the non-roller blocks is that the roller lifter comes out the top of this bore at full lift and exposes the oil gallery hole. This particular block we've already had bronze bushed and lifter trued uh, because we did have a problem with the lifters exposing the oil gallery. Um, you can measure from the deck, if you just pan back a bit, you can measure from the top of the deck down to the bottom edge of the chamfer um, on blocks that haven't had uh, bushes put in yet uh, on a conventional block. Uh, and you'll find that the chamfer that's put in these casting holes from the factory vary in height um, all the way along. They're not, they're not a standard height, so you will have some that are deeper than others. Some lifters will uncover the, the oil gallery, others won't uncover the oil gallery. So you've kind of got to go along and measure every lifter and find your low ones, and then it's a matter of putting your camshaft in and checking it. If we go over here to the bench, you can see We've got a set of roller lifters here, and I've just got the base of the roller touching on a, a set square here, and we've got a traditional um, lifter here with a flat bottom. So with them both bottomed on the set square, we can see this is a Lenati lifter here. The height of the oil gallery here on the Lenati lifter is about 1.2, 1.3mm taller um, so the crane roller lifter is shorter in the body here uh, and has less chance of uncovering the gallery than the Lenati but even with the crane roller lifters and, and I'm talking hydraulic roller lifters the mechanical or solid roller lifters aren't a problem because they're quite short in the body um, but the, for the hydraulic roller cams um, these this dimension needs to be checked um, so even with the crane which is shorter, we still sometimes need to bronze bush and lift a true the blocks to be able to do this conversion. So if we go to the camshaft, the other thing that can be done, now this is an off the shelf crane hydraulic roller, uh, roller cam and we can measure the base circle. So one thing we can do is put a reduced base circle cam in, which we can then reduce the lobe height on so we can keep the same amount of lift but the lifter starts lowering the bore when it's on the bottom of the lobe and at full lift it's not coming quite so high out of the block but as far as using an off-the-shelf crane roller cam um, which and I prefer to use the standard base circle cams for a few reasons um, yeah we've got to do this check so we'll just slip the camshaft into the block Now when you do this, make sure you fit your thrust thrust retainer. This is just a fairly dry assembly. We've got a little bit of oil on the cam bearings, but no lift load because this is all coming apart again. So fit your camshaft retainer, just finger tight. It stops the cam floating in and out so we don't have any problems with our measurements. Now we can grab a, a roller lifter. Gently drop it in the bore there. 
And then you'll see as we rotate, rotate the lifter to full lift. So I get it on full lift and then lift it up out of the hole. And you can see how much travel we've got there before it begins to uncover. If we can get in a bit closer there. So I'll just go full lift again. That's the back of the lobe. Full lift. And then you can see I have to lift it out a good four and a half, maybe five mil before we start uncovering that gallery. Without the bronze bushes in this block, we can't use the Lenati or the crane lifters. We had to bronze bush this. Um, a quick check. Just want to scan back out. A good check on a standard block before it's been bronze lifter bushed is to use a conventional uh, solid or hydraulic lifter. The bodies are nearly always the same height on most of these lifters, whether it's Chevy or Holden. They're a fairly standard height. So what you can do if you don't have any other way of checking it is just lower a conventional lifter into the bore now you can see this is below the height of the bronze bush that we've put in at bottom dead center at sorry at uh, on the back of the lobe at full closed now a fairly good rule of thumb if you drop one of these lifters into a standard non-roller block and the top of the lifter is flush or above the bottom edge of the chamfer, you're going to have problems. Um, you really need the bore to come up at least a millimetre past the top of the lifter in order to get away with using the roller lifters without having to bronze bush. Um, you may get away with the crane lifters, but again, you've got to check.